Hello there, I'm Richard from Tyne Valley Aquatics and Pond Guru Landscaping. In this video I'm going to talk about this little fella. Yes, it is made out of a shampoo bottle. It's a lovely shaped shampoo bottle. And this is the newest moving bed filter that I've created. I made it specifically for this new media, um, which I'll explain at the end of this video. But it'll also work very well with K1, hopefully. This video doesn't have a aquarium test. I need to get into work where I've got all my aquariums, stick it on a tank and try it. So that'll be in the next video. Um, hopefully this should iron out a few of the slight faults that the last moving bed filters had. So I'll explain all about it. it still obviously is air driven, has an airline going in the bottom. I've drilled holes around here again for the water to get drawn up. So this would sit on the side of your tank like that. The air would pump in. The airline comes to just above this foam. This is the first time I've actually integrated foam into a filter before. Um, so the airline goes right through the middle of the foam and bubbles out up here I've actually put a T piece in so it bubbles out two different places and it should move this new media and then spit the water and air out the top if you notice the design of the top of the bottle hopefully the air will not now collect in the very top of here it should all end up being spat out the filter so that on the side of your tank air gets driven in the bottom, moves this media, which sucks water in here, mixes it with air in this moving bed media, spits the water and air out here. Obviously if this was ever going to go into production, it would have an easily removable base. You just clip that off, pull your foam out, clean the foam, whack it back in, and that's really as much maintenance as you would ever need to do. I've actually drilled holes to put big suckers on the back here. Ideally it would want some sort of clamp with suckers attached. So you literally just slid this thing into it and stuck it on the side of your tank. I will be showing this working once I get it into work and put it into an aquarium because shock horror I do not have any aquariums at home. So you can catch that in the next video. Because of the fact that some people have put comments on and haven't really understood what this media is, it's actually a ceramic media, like a honeycomb sort of, a Malteser sort of effect. Lots of holes through it. Um, it is not clear beads like you'd use in hydroponics which would crush easily. It's a sintered glass ceramic media very hard hopefully by testing it in the moving bed filters I'll be able to see just how hard it is and just how well it works but it is not clear